Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a system image in Ubuntu. If you have Linux servers or you know Linux workstation, chances are you are going to want to create images of the disk. Um, this is in case an issue happens, you would like to restore your system. It's easier to have an image and uh, be able to just run a live USB with Ubuntu on it and just restore the system via the image. So the first thing we want to do is to check which partition we want to backup or create a system image from. So you click on disk and uh, in here I can see that your partition five um, is my primary partition where Ubuntu is installed. The target for the image to be saved will be this drive, which is my backup drive. And um, I just choose this as a target to create the image. So at the moment, my Ubuntu system is mounted. And if I try to create an image and choose uh, my backup as a target, it will tell me that uh, I cannot create an image from a mounted system. So if you still have the USB key you used to install Ubuntu, you can reuse this one and actually boot from this USB key to get access to the live version of Ubuntu and access to the disk utility and you will be able to create an image of the system. Okay, so let's reboot this machine and uh, boot it from the USB key uh, which has uh, Ubuntu live installed on it. So I'm going to boot into uh, the live CD, live USB. Uh, so what I want to choose is just uh, to try Ubuntu Mate without installing it. So now it's uh, completed. We have booted into uh, the live USB of Ubuntu Mate. We can check again the disk utility. So now we can have a look into the volume where uh, Ubuntu is originally installed. And you can see that partition 5 is not mounted anymore. So this is what we want. This is what we need for the image to be saved. Uh, the other thing you will need to do is that if you have a, a secondary drive and it needs to be mounted to actually uh, be able to save the image into it. So in my case, I have a 54 gig hard drive that I will need to mount in order to save my Ubuntu image to it. So first of all, I will mount it and then I can go back to my partition and then click on the cogs and create a partition image. I want to give a meaning, meaningful name to it. So maybe Ubuntu and uh, select the target. So in this case, backup and just start creating. Okay, it has been completed fully. Now that the image uh, backup has been completed, we can have a look into the backup volume. And uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, the Ubuntu image uh, that we have um, created a bit earlier. 10 gig approximately, which is the correct size. And you can restore your Ubuntu from this image and it would look like new. Similarly to backing up the image, you can restore it. Just click on the cogs, restore partition image. Select the image you would like to restore. So you just uh, go to uh, you know, the backup location where you saved it. Select the image and start restoring. Okay, so now that the image has been restored, we can restart the machine. And now we will boot into uh, our usual Ubuntu partition. So as you can see, our partition has been restored and it's currently mounted. So we could uh, create an image, system image of Ubuntu Mate, uh, restore it, and our system is up and running again. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I hope to see you soon.